Many people talk about success and propose the questions, you know, how bad do you want it? How much are you prepared to work so that you may succeed? But wallahi, you know, many individuals do work very hard. They put in hours upon hours of work every day. Yet these people are still not enjoying the fruits of success. You know, they're still stuck on this level of averageness. And you and I, we know who these people are. You know, when we look at ourselves in the mirror, we ask ourselves, we're staring back, and we see this sadness in our face. And we ask ourselves, why? You know, why is it that when I put in so much effort and work that I am still stuck on this level? And what we say is, well, maybe inshallah in the future, you know, something good will come for us. Or right now, it just wasn't meant to be. The one thing which we don't say or analyze is ourselves. Especially in Ramadan, this is a time to ponder over ourselves, to ask ourselves, how pure is my heart? What is my character like? Now, how much am I striving to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What have I done to impress Him? Now, do we ever ask these questions? And what happens is that we fall into this trap that if we get a bad grade, we say, ah, we didn't study hard enough. If we don't get the job that we desire, then we say, ah, I never put enough effort into the job process. You know, regardless of the area in which we did not achieve in, whether it is with our education, our family, our marriage, our kids, our career, what we should ask ourselves first is, did I do anything to upset Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? No, did I do anything wrong against the one who brought me here in the first place. And in Ramadan, we have that opportunity you know, to change ourselves. Step by step, everyone can change. You know, every single human being has been given a gift. You know, a gift of logic and a heart to change. And I believe that every single Muslim has the ability to achieve anything that they want when they have a burning desire to please God in all aspects of their life. Jazakallah khair.